Hi everyone, I'm Ashmita and welcome back to Food Garden. In today's video, we're going to be making a holiday staple, butter cookies. So this recipe is super straightforward. It only requires a couple of ingredients and a couple of different steps. It's fully foolproof and makes a batch of delicious cookies that all of your friends and family will love. So if you're interested in this baked delicacy, keep on watching. In a clear bowl, I'm going to be adding a half cup of salted butter, plus two tablespoons of that salted butter as well. To this, I'm going to be adding one quarter cup of granulated sugar, plus an additional tablespoon of that sugar. Using a flat spatula, I'm going to combine the ingredients until the sugar is well combined with the butter. This is what it should look like. So for this recipe, I'm going to be using my stand mixer. And basically what I do is I put the ingredients into the bowl and I use this whisk that will be attached to my mixer. However, if you don't have a stand mixer, that's okay. You can use a hand mixer or you can just whisk by hand. So now this is a shot of the mixer. What I normally do is I put the setting to about 12 or 11 and I let the butter and sugar be whisked together on a high speed to incorporate air into the mixture. What air does when it's incorporated into this mixture is it makes it more light and fluffy and also lightens the color, as you can see here. Whisk this together for about five to 10 minutes, and this is what it should look like. To this, I'm going to be adding a half of a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Then, one tablespoon of milk. And I'm going to roughly mix that together. For this recipe, we're going to need one egg yolk. So the yolk is the yellow part. Separate that from the white and put the yolk into the mixture. Now I'm going to be adding one cup of all-purpose flour into separate portions for this recipe. Continue to do that in smaller portions and mix together till you see that the mixture is thickening. Add one tablespoon of cornstarch. This is definitely an arm workout. <laughs> There you go. This is what we'll be using for our cookies. Now, I'm going to be putting this into a piping bag. Now, all of this can be bought down below with a link in the description bar. So basically, I bought this cake decorating set on Amazon and it has 84 pieces. It's super helpful. It has everything that you would need to bake a cake or make cupcakes or any baked goods. So basically what I do is I put the piping bag into a tall glass and I make sure to put the piping tip inside the bag as well. And then I fill it up with the mixture for our cookies. Now, I'm gonna pull up and basically just tighten the bag to seal the top while pushing down. So this allows for that batter to be pushed down into the nozzle and therefore make piping easier. Now, if you don't have piping bags, you can go ahead and use any type of Ziploc bag. That works well for this too. Now, as you can see here, I'm gonna be piping our design. 
So basically what I do is I pipe this small, very easy design to give the cookies an appealing view. Now I repeat this for all the cookies. Now about halfway through, you'll realize that you need to fill up this piping bag. So just open it back up inside the cup. And then add the remaining mixture. Close it back up and you're ready for piping. Now this is a shot of the cookies in my oven. And this is the finished product. So as always, the ingredients are in the description box down below. Thanks for watching. If you're liking the video so far, please feel free to click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free. It helps support the channel. Thank you. By subscribing and turning on the bell icon, you'll be notified every time Food Garden posts, and you'll automatically be entered into any future giveaways. And that's it to make these delicious butter cookies. So I decided to add some melted chocolate to my butter cookies to create this kind of beautiful design. And then I added some sprinkles on the side as well. These butter cookies make super delicious party favors as well. And you can wrap them up in a really nice little bag with a bow and give them out as gifts to other people. So if you like this video and want to see more from Food Garden, like, comment, share, and subscribe and turn on your notification bell so that you're notified every time I post a new video. Happy Holidays!